Hey folks, today I am working on a Tesla. It has got black leather interior, and I came across something that I come across rather frequently, especially here in California, and it's called sunblock or sunscreen. Now, it is, in my world, easily recognizable because it shows up as this white, greasy film that uh, is very difficult to remove. And if you think about sunblock and sun protection, what is one of the key factors that people look for when they are choosing one? Never mind the SPF rating, which is sun protection factor, but they're looking for its ability to withstand the elements such as water, go down the list. So you will have what's called waterproof, water resistant. So when you hear or read those terms, you know that it's also going to mean that it's gonna make it more difficult to clean them off materials if they get on. And I know the lighting is poor, so I'm gonna show you. We have big wads of it here. Uh, who knows what Johnny Customer was doing. They have kids. They probably slathered them up and then put them back here in the seat without any clothes on or anything past bathing suits, bathing trunks, whatever. Let me show you this section. See how thick this stuff is? And you can feel it on there. And if you want to do the sniff check and smell your finger to verify, that in fact it is suntan lotion. Very typical in women's car, cars, around the steering wheel and controls if they do not wash their hands after applying their makeups and lotions and potions so they all look beautiful for us men. And because experience has taught me that I know that these sunscreens are very chemical resistant to breaking down, I'm not gonna waste time with a traditional cleaner like my all-purpose cleaner. I'm gonna go straight for the hardcore stuff which is my Meguiar's Super Degreaser. Now on interiors, as a rule, I use it diluted 10 to one. One part concentrate to 10 parts water. And as I say, you always test in an area that cannot be seen. It's called an inconspicuous area. So I will take my non-abrasive scrub pad. And remember, also one of the rules, if you have followed along with my channel for any length of time, that when it comes to leather, people love to think about leather as this natural material, which it is. It's grown on animals. And so they automatically relate it to your skin. The problem is, is today's leather in modern day cars, it's like having a clear latex glove on your hand. Although it's not actually latex, it's a clear form of plastic. So you're not dealing with a true natural material. You're dealing with a coating. It's kind of like your paint. You're not dealing with the actual color coat of your paint. You're dealing with a clear coat on top of the paint, which, and again, is another form of plastic. So test, check results, either change direction or continue to move forward. Now I've seen some sunscreen that is so resistant to water and chemicals and breaking down that you really have to uh, do repeat applications three, four, sometimes five times in order to really fully remove it. Now because this is black leather, that makes it that much more difficult because it shows very easily on black because it's a white product so black is going to be more difficult versus a lighter color uh, upholstery to leather and if this was by the way fabric I would be using the same process uh, instead of a scrub pad with fabric I would likely be sh um, going with a scrub brush but I would still go straight to my super greaser spray it scrub it mop it up check the results, either move forward with repeat applications. Light applications are always preferred over a heavy, overly saturated application. That is the rule. Learn the rules, then learn to break the rules if you want. So let me finish cleaning this area and I'll show you the results. Now whenever you are spraying liquids onto 
a non-porous material like leather or vinyl or what have you, you have to be very aware that that liquid will settle down into the seams. So you need to force those seams open, and I don't mean to the point of absurdity where you can actually do some damage, but you need to force those seams open so you can mop up the excess liquid. And what I'm seeing is that for the most part between one and two applications is able to remove this sunblock, whatever brand it was, whatever SPF it was, who knows, that's irrelevant. I just know I gotta get it off. So Johnny customer is a happy customer and we want happy customers. So if you wanna get some of this on your own, go to my website. There's always gonna be a link under each video. In this case, it will be Super Degreaser, one of my favorites, very versatile, very many off-label uses that I use it. So check out my other videos, and if you like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up on the latest and greatest that I think are the latest and greatest, which are a simplified version of what the industry would have you believe.